All right. So what you're looking at right now is the actual way the email looks like. And I'm, I'm, I have this open up on a Macintosh and it's just through the mail app. You'll notice a couple of things here. One, um, it is from a person whose name is listed right here. And um, you can see that they set the reply email address to a Gmail account. Right, that seems to be somewhat fairly safe. Uh, although the, the whole actual payload might not have actually come through uh, through Gmail, um, and we can examine that a little bit further. But I'm really try just trying to show you a lay person who doesn't have necessarily any IT experience what it looks like. Looks like a regular email. They have they have a subject here that says please review attached. Right, it seems safe enough. Um, you'll notice, or you you may or may not notice, that this was actually sent to undisclosed recipients. Basically, they BCC every person individually. And this is just a simple way for them to go ahead and try to infect as many people as possible um, without using a, uh, a list server. Okay, so they BCC'd my email address there, and they said the reply to. Now, all it says is that... Uh, they shared the following PDF file, right? And it says secured file via Dropbox. It's just a company that's pretty well known for sending and sharing files. And then there's a specific link there to go ahead and open it. Now, notice in a Macintosh, when I highlight over the link, it'll tell you exactly where it goes to, right? And in this case, it actually doesn't go to Dropbox because if it did, it would have something similar to Dropbox. But here, overlook here, you can see that it's going to this website here, HTTP, uh, RC something, RCDRECICLA.com in Brazil, news under space box. Okay. So there's a lot of suspicious activity going on over here. Um, one, I don't know this person. Two, they have a picture here of the person, which is um, what is associated to this email address here uh, on, on Gmail. We don't know if this really is the, the person who sent it because it's really easy to spoof an email address from anybody. Uh, just like, as you can see, it's easy to spoof links um, because they can say open right here as a link, not knowing that this does not actually take you to Dropbox. All right, so this is what it looks like in a mail system that does not have any have any scanning. I don't have any security scanning software to look for phishing attacks or uh, or any uh, malware on here on this Mac. This is what it looks like if you open it through Gmail. Now on Gmail, what happened was when I first got this, it did not have any warning at all about being careful with this message. All right. Now the reason why Gmail knows about this to give you this warning because similar messages were used to steal people's personal information. Unless you trust the sender, don't click on links or reply with personal information. The reason why they had this was that someone probably got their information stolen, okay, and reported it. And so Gmail um, looks at this suspicious behavior or uh, through the Gmail interface and, and maybe through Google Chrome or just anybody uses Gmail, someone reports it and lets them know that, hey, this is suspicious. And people can easily do that on Gmail using it, either report spam or you can do some other reporting mechanisms uh, available. Um, I usually just forward it to abuse at gmail.com so that they have their, their computers and their people take a look at it. And then boom, that tells everybody on Gmail with, with such links to this warning here. Now, when I first got this five days ago on May 18th, they didn't have such a warning. Right. I just want to bring home the point again that, uh, you know, there, there's many different ways that this malware known as ransomware can get into your system. And, you know, this this is one of the ways and this is the one of the most popular ways to get through to your system is through email delivery. And the only sure way to make sure that you protect and have business continuity planning and making sure that, you know, you can get right back up to place is to have all the proper things in place. Um, we go over some of those steps over in HIPAA Watchdog when we do security risk analysis to make sure that you have the whole business continuity part. And one of the big things with that is, is doing the backups and making sure that they're done properly. And we have, of course, webinars on how to do that. And I also have videos on how to do that. So um, check those out. Uh, subscribe to HIPAA Watchdog. 
And, you know, if you see a message like this again, looks somewhat suspicious. You can look at some of the, the telltale signs about what looks suspicious, uh, even if it's from someone spoof that you might know. Uh, you know, be careful. Don't download files. Don't click on things that uh, you don't know about. And, uh, you know, follow those policies and procedures that are set up to protect yourself against this. But this is what it looks like. Okay, it just looks like a regular email. So be careful. This is an example. And um, if, I, if I get some more other interesting examples sent over to me, uh, I'd be happy to share it in follow-up videos. But simple user training like this, knowing what it looks like, is uh, one great way to help prevent uh, malware and uh, ransomware from getting into your systems um, even when your own systems are anti-malware, don't catch it because they're always, always updating their methods uh, of trying to infect you. All right, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.